Hello ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls, this is Shin and you're watching Coffee and TV. It's been a long time, I know, I was busy. Yeah. Uh, so. And I bought my clip from Dania, as I mentioned on the name of this video. Yeah, here we go. I bought it like three days ago, four days ago, and it delivered really quick. Yeah, we do everything very quick. And Tanzania is all time my favorite grinder, so I always hope to have this grinder at home. So I can use this one with my descent espresso machine or my like pullover method copies. So I'll also explain about my Konik Tanzania's unique features. Well, let's do this. So here is the box. On the box there is my like delivery information, my address and the company that I bought from and here is the fragile sticker and there is Malconi logo and type Tanzania and this is 220 Korean and 60 Hertz this kind of like unique thing for Korean electricity so I think so many grinders company in the world they have to make like unique motor for just Korean because we do we use 220 volts and 60 Hertz of electricity so thank you everybody anyway so there is serial number they got CE certification I just cut the tape off so one thing that I like about this box is they put handles like plastic handle on the sides like here and like here so it's very easy to carry actually I participate in some exhibitions like coffee show or coffee expo in Seoul so this is quite useful for me because I have to put the grinder back in the box to carry to the exhibition center like coax is there we go I'm gonna open it and, 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 wow. this is operating instructions everything is in Korean though great 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 blah 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 so there is something that I have to check when I get the grinder first. So I have to check the damage on the box. If there is damage, then before taking the product out. So I have to take a photo because I have a damage on this side. On there. I don't even need to take a photo because I videotaped. Oh well. So here is the grinder. How can I take it out safely? I think I'm just gonna flip it. Oh, Oh, and I'm ready to take it out and I'll put it back in the box because I will need this and this is the hopper this is the lead instruction in English there is the rubber gasket this one should be under the hopper and this little brush thing I call it Tanzania is mainly made for single dosing Oops, really There you go. Yeah, something like this. I'm not sure I'm gonna put this in when I use it or... But if I don't put it like all the way in, then it's quite easy to take it out. Fire eating my fire for... Shoot. I just take that. Finally. Ah. And this is the grinder. Anyway. And this is the thing under the grinder like this. to put the hopper in and how to lock or open it and lock it there we go it's quite satisfying because there is tiny pin on there so for open this one you have to click the kind of button it's quite annoying though because the button is too small I just put the lid on it does not fit Oh, there you go. To put this tray on there. Two things for assemble on the grinder. This one here and here. There you go. And that's it. Looks quite nice. So here is the first feature of this Malconi Tanzania. When some customers order ground coffee beans, you get the ground coffee bean orders on online or something. 
So you were gonna use the retail grinders. So what you do is put the coffee bean inside and run it out and keep this kind of back. Put like this and then your shutter out while grinding this plate is gonna vibrate. So that the ground bean doesn't get stacked up. So it provides you convenient work environment. Okay, another feature of the Tanzania. I just take it out. Yeah, it's fine. As it opens, this cover comes out from here. What I'm gonna do is checking the burrs in the grinder. Yes, my GoPro is on now. I have to take this out. Anyway, I'm just gonna use my screwdriver. Oh, it's good. I'm gonna take my bro. Two, every. There we go. Uh, this one is brand new though. You can still see some round pins, some fines stick on the edge and inside of bars. Because before the grinder company send the grinder to the customers, they always test with the pins if it works fine. And there is the unique feature of the Tanzania. If you use any other grinders, there should be screws, three or two screws on the bar. But this one doesn't have any screws. But this one stick by magnet. It's quite strong and the size is really tight to the bar. Those are the magnets, so I just put it back. Wow, the magnet is really, really strong. There we go. And this part is well. Wow, there we go. So this one is well, but it says bottom one here. And I'm just gonna put this one back as well. It gives really, really characteristic coffee as well results. Espresso or like pull over as well. So I really love this grinder. EK43, I love it too, but you're too expensive to buy right now for me. Actually, it's really easy to take this one out. All I need to do is just take the three screws out of these parts, and then I can just clean it like with a brush or something. Oh, boom, 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 and boom, 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 and that's it. Before I put this part back in, I'm just gonna check the size of this bar. It says it's 80 millimeters, and exactly 80 millimeters. There we go. And I just put the part back. And I just put my cover back and bye bye GoPro. Thank you. And the last thing, how to change the grinding points. I mean, if you change the dial, you can go finer than default, or you can go coarser. Maybe nobody's gonna do that though. Anyway, I'll just show you. So there is the screw. So I need a flat tip screwdriver and then take the screw out in order to take the dial out and inside the dial that's so toothed so it matches to the gear on here so to make this grinder be more appropriate for making espresso you need to turn the gear as fine as you can put the dial on the gear and then turn the dial on this way and take it out and put it again and then turn it the same way when the gear is really tight so you cannot turn this one anymore that means the burrs are stuck in the case you cannot grind because it cannot move or if you turn the motor on it's possible that you're gonna break the burrs so from now you need to calibrate it how to do it is put the dial back in the case uh, number one on the dial should be on the arrow and then you need to turn the dial a little bit to make some space between bars and make it as one on the dial and then if you hear this sound when you turn the dial on the finest then it's done that's how you change the grinder dial range I'm gonna feed some electricity. That's it for today, guys. I was gonna make some coffee with this grinder, but it's gonna be like long video clip, so I'm just gonna cut it from here. And then in the next video, I'm just gonna make coffee with Public Tanzania and with my Nintendo Espresso machine and also the other over stuff. Thank you for watching Coffee TV. Peace out.